So I'm going to go through the Paul Klee project with you. Um, Paul Klee used shapes, uh, what they called cubism, um, to create his paintings. They were very abstract. Um, the first thing you're going to do, we're going to use Chrome Canvas. This, the first thing you want to do is go to Google Images and type in graph paper 10 by 10. And you'll see I find graph paper 10 by 10. I click on it first to make it nice and large. And then on the Chromebook, you can click um, alt click or uh, control click, download it, download the image to your downloads folder or your desktop or wherever you want to put it. And then you're going to open up Chrome Canvas. Once you open up Chrome Canvas, we're going to start a new project, but it's really important you choose new from image not new from sketch because we are going to add an image so new from image and the image is on the computer you're going to have to find it in the downloads folder or the photos folder and select it so that it appears on your canvas okay now that i have the grid i'm going to make a new layer um, it's going to be a sketch layer if you look, you can see I'm selecting a new layer. And this um, layer, I'm gonna choose the color black. I'm gonna choose the pencil. I'm gonna make it um, not too small, not too big. And here's where you're gonna draw an object. Keep it simple, a pot of flowers, um, a plant, a tree, a house, um, a very simple face, a fish, a dog, a cat, anything that's very simple, and you're gonna draw it in the similar fashion that I'm drawing my flowers. Black, thick pen, and try to fill up the whole canvas. Okay, once you're done, like I'm done, I'm gonna make a new layer. This new layer is gonna be for coloring you gotta turn, move it down underneath your black sketch. You see what I did? Um, really important, you wanna be underneath so that when you color it in, your colors don't mix with the black. Also, make sure you're on, again, on a new layer. Your coloring should be on a different layer than where you have the black. If it's not on a different layer, um, you're gonna have to start over. So, new layer, and then color it in just like I'm coloring mine in. I'm using primary colors because Klee liked to use primary colors. You don't have to, um, it's just what I'm doing. Once you're done coloring it in, you need to go back to your layers and you're gonna see your color layer, your black and white layer, your photo layer. Shut off the black sketch. You see the eyeball, click on, click off. Um, now the black is, is not there anymore. And now it's time to color in your squares. Now there's no exact science to this, but basically if there's a color in a square, color in that square. If there's only a small piece of color, then color, color in half the square from corner to corner we want to mimic what paul clay had done as an artist now it's really up to you you're gonna have to eyeball it but you decide if you're gonna color in the whole square or just half the square and you really want boxy square or triangle triangular shapes um, if you want to achieve what we're gonna do so I'm gonna speed this up and you'll see that I'm coloring in squares either fully or from corner to corner, filling in only half. done I'm going to use the eraser tool and I'm just going to kind of clean up my lines to make the lines a little bit straighter 
um, because I didn't do such a perfect job. I'm trying to fix it up. So you can do that as well. make a new layer move the layer underneath your colors um, if you don't put it there you're gonna cover up your flowers then choose your color and I'm making my brush pretty big since I'm just doing the background again I'm not on the color layer I'm on a brand new layer and I'm gonna start coloring it in and it's not gonna touch the flowers because I'm on a totally different layer and if you're covering the flowers um, either you're on the same layer or your color layer is on top. You got to move it underneath. So there it goes. Okay, now to save it, upper right corner, hit those three dots save your image and then upload it to Otis.